Our verse today is Psalm 34, verse 6. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. Psalm 34 is considered a thanksgiving psalm and an acrostic poem. Acrostic means that each line of the psalm begins with a Hebrew letter, starting with Aleph, the first Hebrew letter. Our verse begins with the sixth letter, Zion. The psalmist begins by praising God and asking everyone to join in exalting the name of God in verses 1 to 3. The rest of the psalm spells out why they should praise God. In our verse, the reason is that the Lord heard the cry of the poor man and saved him from all his troubles. Our focus is on who the poor person is and why the Lord delivers him in his troubles. The Hebrew word translated as poor here is ani. And it has different meanings. It could refer to someone overwhelmed by want, or one who is poor, wretched, afflicted, or unfortunate. This meaning addresses the physical side of life. Being poor was seen as rather unfortunate. The poor suffer the pains of want and injustice. The poor include the peasant farmers, wage laborers, widows, orphans, and foreigners. The poor were victims of the greed of rich people, lost for power and manipulation of the legal system in favor of the rich and powerful. You can read Isaiah chapter 3, 14 to 15, Amos chapter 4, verse 1, and Amos chapter 8, verse 4. Therefore, the poor were helpless and looked up to God for survival, protection, and care. If this psalm, as the introduction says, is attributed to David, he was not poor in the ordinary sense of the word. The title of the psalm says of David when he changed his behavior before Abimelech so that he drove him out and he went away. To understand that introduction, one needs to read 1 Samuel chapter 21 when David behaved like a madman and escaped from Achish, the king of Gath. If we go by the introduction, God delivered David and he escaped and that is why he is giving thanks to God. Therefore, we must look at the other meaning of a knee, which is humble. The humble person is poor in spirit because he fears the Lord, Proverbs chapter 22, verse 4. And he does righteousness, if you read Numbers 12, verse 3, Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 3, and Philippians chapter 2, verse 3. Humility is a proper posture before God, acknowledging the power of God and the nothingness of the human being. It is about fear of God and trust in his providence. David was a man who knew his nothingness and humbled himself before God. And to confirm that the psalmist had the humble person in mind, we must read verse 17, where we have a parallel with our verse, the righteous cry for help. Following this understanding, both the physically poor and the spiritually poor person who entrusts their care to the Lord can cry out to God when they are in trouble or distress. And God will save and deliver anyone who cries out to Him in humility from their troubles. He will send His angel around those who fear Him and delivers them. Verse 7. Therefore the key is calling out to God in humility, trusting in His providence as our Father, acknowledging our weaknesses, and that we do not deserve to receive anything from God, but that what He does for us is always out of His love and merciful kindness. Lord, we cry out to You in our troubles and distress. You know what pain we are going through at this time. We lay them before You in humility and trust in Your providence that You will deliver and save us. Amen. God bless you, and I wish you a pleasant day.